I managed to make it down to uh, College Station. By the way, this is James, the unofficial mayor of Cowboy Country. We are live and in College Station. Uh, I haven't been here in 15 years, and this, I'm telling you, my, my friends, this looks absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I'm a big fan of the brick uh, work, obviously. Uh, let me go around to the other sides and get some shots. Get a close-up shot here of some of the things that they have done here. One of the things I really like are all of those banners. They're ways to honor players that have played, but you don't have to put them on the ring of honor or, or put their name embroidered into the, um, here, let me bump up the, see how you got the one from Miles Garrett. There's Mike Evans. You know, there's there's ways to honor some of the good players, but oh, there's one for Dat Win. I remember when he, I saw him in person at, at, um, in Stillwater. What a great athlete, Demontre Moore. So there's ways to, I, I wish we would do something similar like those banners in Stillwater. Um, if you notice the gates, the gates go higher here than they do in Stillwater and they completely close up at the top. But I love how they put the a and logo into the gate. This is obviously, uh, I wouldn't call it fancier than what uh, Texas has, but it definitely looks better. There's no doubt about it. Honestly, I don't know what they're doing over here. It's interesting that they refer to that over there as the RC Slocum Nutrition Center. That's interesting. I'm here at the one end zone that I can actually go to. I've got to hurry because I don't have much daylight left. I'm trying to see who this is. This is... John David Crow, Heisman Trophy winner in 1957. That's pretty cool. You always rem want to remember your history. You always want to remember where you came from. You know, the pictures, I don't think, do it justice. Just how... I mean, Kyle Field was impressive before when I was here in 2000, 2005. I will tell you this, the people treated me really well. Um, I had to work that day. We were prepping to go to Iraq. I was at Fort Hood and I got off as quick as I could. And by the time I got here, it was halftime and uh, the nice lady at the ticket office, I put my money down, slid it under, she put the tickets on top of it and slid the, the tickets and the money back to me. It's just, A&M, you know, they have a military style marching band. They treat veterans really well here. But, but there's tons of glass and brick and it just looks absolutely gorgeous. Let me uh, get over to the other side and uh, get reset. I did not realize how much walking I was going to be doing today. Uh, clearly this is much bigger than what I saw at Houston. But Houston's campus is smaller. So 
I mean, it fits. But this is like a cathedral. This is like... Heck, I may consider in a couple weeks just coming to a, to a game. Just to come to a game. But let me go over there and I'll get reset. You can see the suites. The new suites up there. Yeah, they weren't even there when I was here before. But you see these banners? Let me put in a closer shot. I'm going to try to walk over there. You got Jake Matthews, Brandon Mann, Von Miller. I, I really think that Oklahoma State could do something similar to this. Wouldn't cost a lot of money. I mean, the main people that should be on our Ring of Honor are Barry Sanders, Thurman Thomas, and um, my mind's blanking, but uh, he was the quarterback on that team that won the, that was granted a national championship in 45. Maybe it's just because I'm really tired, but you look at all this, there's, oh, they're actually, oh, that's the steam room of the, that's interesting. Well, this is cool. I, this is all new. Sorry if the camera's shaky. I'm trying to keep it as still as I, I can. Uh, the, of course, the best thing to do is to just walk flat-footed. Home of the 12th man. I mean, that's all over the place uh, in the stadium. It's really... Uh, let me get a shot of this statue. This is really cool. This is the War Hymn Monument. Uh, one of the most unique and impressive traditions in all sports is of the famed 12 man comprised of all Aggie faithful but most exemplified in the student body who stand throughout every football game and exhort the team. Okay, that's pretty cool. So, it's not really a statue of anybody famous. This, they just took a picture of some students from long ago and uh, made a statue out of it. Student athlete entry. Okay. Here you go. See, here's some more of those banners. You know. Of course, I don't know who some of these players were. Boop chuckle, center. The fact that they even put an offensive lineman up. That's pretty cool. It must be recent because he's got an SEC patch on his jersey. But just, you know, you got some really good um, ticket booths. I'm assuming that this is kind of like an entrance to like their suites or something. Probably some kind of employee entrance. Oh, yeah. So you got the... I saw some something similar to this at Kansas. So this must be where the uh, students, uh, the, the football players, go in and out. Or the coaching staff. And once again, you got these really cool gates. I don't want to take up too much time because I only got 15 minutes total. But let me get around the corner, I'll restart. This is on the end of the stadium. Football Performance Nutrition, Davis Center, Football Player Development. So here's your gym. It's cool that it's actually visible to the outside. Milkholm State's got a great gym, it's just it's in the west end zone. But I like how they built out. What does that say? Come over here. I think they have an acronym for tech. <sighs> Toughness, effort, discipline, pride, and grit. I guess these are like... Like, oops, wrong way. Um, that's pretty cool. They're trying to instill a culture of winning and... Obviously, well, all the walking around today has shown me that I need to start working out again. 
Alright. I believe that is AM's indoor practice facility because you got the football fields right there. But I'm sorry I didn't get here until late. Originally, I only planned on going to Houston and back, and then back to my house. But I thought, well, I got to go through Austin to get to Houston, so I might as well stop by. Uh, I might as well stop by there. Oh wow, this is so cool. Yeah. I mean, think about it. If you're a recruit. And you come, there's your gym, here's your main entrance, and you come and visit, and you see this. How impressive is that? I mean, that's what you want. You want to show off all the success you've had in the past. I'll get closer, but you can see on the right over there, you can see all the different... Uh, you know, of course I got the cool new uniforms the showing off right there you got all the different people those gloves are from players that used to play at A&M you know you got different trophies that different people have won throughout the years so That's interesting, that SEC logo there. Now they're proud of uh, being in the SEC. I really wonder how they feel about Texas joining them. See, even on the barricades, they got the whole, they got TV highlights playing nonstop of, uh, Johnny Manziel and others. There's his Heisman Trophy. You know. I mean, it's just... The attention to detail is just amazing. If you look over here, you see the, the, the doormat. It's got the A&M logo on it. Okay. This is blocked off. I gotta go around just to get to my car. Uh, but apparently they're doing something special here. I'll try to figure out what it is. But I'll see you in a few. I'm not sure what they're doing here for construction, but whatever it is, I was able to find a stairwell. That's really cool. I, I really wonder what they're gonna put here. It's been a long day, but it's been a good day. If you haven't checked out the other videos, I'm going to post the one for uh, Baylor on uh, probably on Monday. And then the one I did for uh, Texas on Tuesday. And then this one, obviously, will get posted on Wednesday. And then next Thursday, God willing, I'll be in Stillwater to see Oklahoma State versus Central Michigan. So thank you for watching. I really appreciate you. Uh, taking the time to watch this video. Uh, if you're new, please hit like and subscribe. I want to say thank you to everybody who's part of Cowboy Country, and I hope you have a great night. Bye.